from John, the 11th chapter. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus whom he raised from the dead. Since the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Well, our theme for today is Wasted Monday in reference to Judas's assertion that the nard Mary used was a waste of money. So the question is, was the money used to buy nard wasted? Did Mary squander money? Well, obviously the answer is no, because Mary's act here is imbued with so much meaning. Mary's anointing of Jesus illustrates something important for us. Mary's act of devotion gives us an idea of how abundant God's grace is. What I love about John's gospel is how it asks us to use our senses to experience God's grace. The author of John teaches us about God's grace through our human senses through our sight, our touch, our taste, our hearing, our smell. Here we experience God's grace in a new way. Just as that perfume filled their home, filled every nook and cranny of their house, God's grace is that abundant. God's grace fills our world. God's grace is so abundant that we are surrounded by it. Friends, we can't escape God's grace. So remember, you have been washed in God's abundant grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of grace, when you became incarnate in human flesh, we experienced your abundant grace. Grant that we may continue to feel that grace in our lives. May we be immersed in and filled with your never-failing love. Amen.